Chris Charlotte Horn's video on the channel. Now today we are entering the very first game in the first round of playoffs. Now, team is looking not too shabby. We do have Steph Curry who will be leaving us this year unless we re-sign him, which, I mean, come on, why wouldn't he sign with us? But Obi Top and Serge Ibaka, we got a lot of expiring contracts. Lamella Ball, Dante DiVincenzo, along with JJ Redick are all injured, which isn't ideal, but it's okay. Now, if we look at the draft class, right, where's my draft board? This is my draft board. All right, these are the guys that I don't think we'll get, but these are the guys you should look out for. So you got Doc Adams. You guys all know Doc Adams. He's a beast. I He's looking like he's just going to be a great, great defender, big man, all right, center, power forward, no weaknesses, no medical concerns, but so, solid upper body strength. I mean, looks like he's going to be a big man right at the bat. Then you got William Banks. Great shooter, great passer, great finisher. Not that great of a, uh, not that great of a passer. Not very great defensively. Then you got Evan Payne. He's pretty okay. He uh, gives you a lot of a Draymond Green vibe. All right, not a great defenser in that terms, but he's kind of the uh, kind of the glue guy, I should say. Glue guy. He's like defense, but like not. I don't know. They got CP the doc. Absolute lights out shooter, quick, just a score, absolute score. A little bit smaller size, uh, at six four, but still looks to be pretty good. Then you got record Ricardo Corito. This man is just a Spanish curry, is what they're calling him. Alright. He can shoot beautifully. Great from mid range, great from long range, great shot creator. This man is just he's the Spanish. Curry. Then you got Tia Iverson, uh, Allen Iverson's third cousin. Looks like he's just going to be a great scorer. Great, I mean, basically anything Allen Iverson can do, this guy can probably do. And then you got me. Uh, I can not shoot. Um, I can pass. And that's about it. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bad. I'll probably go 26th overall, the game says. But those are the guys you should probably look out for. Um, and those are going to be the major stories in this year's draft. Now, the matchup doesn't really look all that bad. I mean, they're starting Nico Minion, young guy, getting some big playing time in a playoff series. Only his second year in the league. Same thing with Obi Toppin, though, so I guess it's not crazy. But they're starting City Osman. Like, I don't know if that's going to turn out very well for them. Oh, playoff mode. Look at them. The Cavs introducing their team, City Osman. I mean, you know, if you start with City Osman, it doesn't matter. Not a lot of Hornets fans in the arena. I mean, that's okay. Not to be expected. I mean, the only Hornets fan I've ever met in my life is Puff. So, yeah, I doubt it. But look at Curry doing his sprints, getting ready for the game. Everybody's ready. K-Love. K-Love and Curry matched up multiple times uh, in the finals. Never in a first-round series, but that does change. As Kevin Love is still with the Cavs, and Curry is now come home to Charlotte. Miles Turner, Drummond, Drummond winning the tip. Now, we do have a much better defensive side of things and scoring, I'd say. Except Curry just starting the game off with a tough reach, but I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay here. We have a very strong defensively set team, so scoring might not be that big of a thing that we have to worry about. I mean, with Serge and Turner down low, great defense right there. DeJounte Murray is pretty stellar on defense. I wouldn't say he's amazing, but he's a pretty good defender right there. Curry might be our weakest defender, but he's also chilling with Nico Mininian, and I'm not all that worried with Mininian. As K-Love getting the board right back, as we had nobody big down low. With probably the worst team he's ever had in his career, besides the current day Golden State Warriors, looks to do something in the playoffs. I don't know how much that will be able to be, as Turner takes a very bad look inside against Drummond. Now, I don't think our big men are going to get a lot of offense here tonight. Mininian, though, driving right by Curry. Beautiful layup interrupted by Obi Toppin right there. Murray off to the race is just kidding. Curry going with a nice little floater, and it's in as Curry finally gets started for the Charlotte Hornet. Wow, I that was in English, bro. I'm sorry, that's not English. Finally gets started for the Charlotte Hornets here in game one of the Eastern Round 1 playoffs. Eastern Conference Round 1 playoffs. Ooh, what a move by City Osman with the N1 all over Obi Toppin. We're only down three, and when I say only, that's not really a great thing. Is Colin Sexton going to work for Bacon, and Bacon jumps 
right into his shot, man. Bacon and sex, what a combo that is if you are any American ever. All right, but our second unit, not the best. Alonzo Trier, Dwayne Bacon, Miles Bridges, P.J. Washington, and Vern Carey. We went with the full five sub here. We'll probably go with the 10-man throughout the playoffs. Um, simply just trying to give everyone minutes and see what really works best for us here at the early going. But Vernon Carey Jr. with the beautiful pass and the slam getting around, getting his first ever career playoff points here for the Charlotte Hornets. Now, we'll let you know this episode is going to be all of round one, so if you're not getting a lot of clips from the first game, that is why. Now, the main thing that might screw us is the fact that I'm going to have to try and simcast. Um, I'm not trying simcast. I am going to simcast to get all this round one down. So we are down 10 now. Uh, when I simcasted, it was a minute left in the first, and we were only down two. So who knows? Maybe this Cavs team really has something on us, but I didn't think they were all that good. Nico Maninian taking a nice little jumper from the mid-range. Obi Toppin, though. Off to the races and one, hopefully, as we are slowly crawling towards that lead. Now, Curry, um, as it seems, does not have that great of a stat line. Four and four, not amazing. Obi Toppin is leading us in scoring, I believe. Yes, sir. 34 41. Cavaliers ball. Curry plays some good defense. Murray's been playing great defense here. Everybody is just kind of, you know, sticking with their man, playing good D. It's Kevin Porter Jr. with a beautiful take, not falling for him there. As Curry looks to go all the way, burning everybody. Hop step, beautiful layup. And we're slowly crawling back towards this lead. Halftime of game one. We're probably going to go in down eight, unless we get some good stops right here. As we don't, Sexton gets a wide open mid. He misses it, though. We get lucky right there. Curry, though, on the wing. Doesn't matter. Bridges all the way. Beautiful layup and a great take by Miles Bridges, who has shown huge strides of improvement in his second season. Like, huge. Um, I think Miles Bridges could be a big-time player for us. Who knows? That may just me be me getting excited over some really good play. We're going in half, down six, game one. I will say, unlike the Hunger Games, the odds are not looking in our favor. We are down 12 here against this Cavs team. Kind of unacceptable, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how our team is losing to a team with literally Dylan Windler. I mean, come on. I get your rookie of the year every single time before the rookies got added to the game. But you're not that good that you should be saucing, okay? Miles Bridges with a great board. Dwayne Bacon. God, I wish you would do something other than just have a f funny name. Bridges, though, going to the rack. Good layup again. I feel like I've been saying a lot about Bridges today. He's been filled with great layups, you know? He's one of those suspension bridges. If he was a real bridge, he would be the Golden Gate Bridge. That's the kind of bridge he would be. Dwayne Bacon with, once again, awful defense. Shooting foul to the line. It goes Kevin Porter Jr. after 13 on the season with almost an 80% from the free throw line. Great, great free throw shooting. Alonzo Cheer, though, a guy who didn't really do too hot last game, having a great game in the playoffs here as he's slamming all over people. Nine points for the young guy who we picked off a free agent. Let's see, he's doing great. He's doing really great, actually. I'm proud of him. All right, we're slowly crawling back. Very much thanks to Bridges' amazing play. And honestly, Murray been playing pretty nice too. Bridges, though, wide open in the corner. Let's hit a three. And Bridges, man, he has been the star of the show in game one, man. He's just been phenomenal. Sexton, though, getting to the line quite a lot tonight. I will say, we've been fouling very sloppily and... Not very good looks on defense, but we are getting some good key steals, so I guess that looks good for us as well. Beginning of the fourth, climbing back, only down four, just like we were at the beginning of that first quarter. Curry's back in, 17 for Curry. I do think Bridges has been playing a little bit better than Curry, I dare I say. Um, but both have been playing pretty great. Seti Osman, wide open, mid-range, doesn't matter, Obi Toppin. With a beautiful block right there. Murray, though, off to the races. A little bit of a snatch back. Good little leaner. Misses Andre Drummond with the board. Nico Minion, though, leading this Cavs team, I will say. Something I did not expect. Him and another really sloppy foul right there. Him and, uh, what do you call it? Sexton. Colin Sexton. 
part of Sexland with a Darius a Garland, who is not playing right now. He is injured. But Sexton, Caleb, Nico, all playing really great right now. But we got the GOAT back in Bridges, so we should be all set. Beautiful move by Murray, getting right to the rack. And going right to the line as well. He has a pretty good game, I would say. Seven points, now eight. And if we make this other one, nine. But six rebounds, three assists. It's a pretty solid stat line for the, the good old man stepping up in the place of Lamella Ball and DeJounte Murray. Down two, but we may have an issue as Stephen Curry does have five fouls so one more could result in him fouling out so we got to play smart here great block by miles turner getting in the way and curry really just fouled okay curry's out we no longer have our best player in the game not like in the game best player on our team in the game so we might be screwed here Bur alonzo trier though 11 points he's been playing pretty good backup point guard i would say I would say is Murray stretching out right in between the three-point line, but it's a two, and it's all tied up. We're up four, and I will say our secret superstar of this game has been Alonzo Trier. 15 points, three assists. Just wait till you guys see how many steals this kid has. He has been a bucket tonight. All right, game one is getting way too close for comfort right here. We're up only by one now. No curry, but we got Surge right down there. Now I just need to give him the ball so he can post up. And look at this mismatch right there. Easy bucket by Serge Ibaka. Don't switch the little man on the, uh, wait, is he Brazilian? I don't remember. Maybe he's from the Czech Republic. No, not Czech Republic. Dominican Republic. I don't remember he's from. Just don't switch the small man on the Serge Ibaka. But Sexton not hitting the rim. But we give an A and one to the worst free throw shooter in the league. So it's absolutely fine. Andre Drummond, go ahead. Go to the line. You're going to make. Okay, he made it. He made it. Tied game. Minute left to go. It's getting intense. Murray with a step back three. Can he drain it? He does. That is a dagger and a half. 16 points for DeJounte Murray with the biggest three of his career in game one of the... Oh, wow. Okay. Good steal by Ibaka. Great defense by Ibaka. Almost just gave it away. It's okay, though. Obi Toppin at the three. He's driving in. Surge wide open. Another dunk by Serge Ibaka. The Surge has been unleashed. Our boy DeJounte Murray has been labeled player of the game, and honestly, I think it's deserving after that clutch, clutch three. He's been having some great passes here, and I look at that beautiful move in the hop step with the nice little fancy finish around Colin Sexton, going right around Sexton once again. Nice little fader jumper, giving it right down to Surge with that mismatch. Surge, who has been on fire here in the fourth quarter, just playing great. We are up five, hopefully about to ice this game. Can we ice this game? Giving it to Nico Menonia. Nico with the three, and it's off. Great board by Murray. They might try to foul. Yep, they're gonna try to foul. I don't know how I feel about that option, but let's give it back to Murray. Oh, no one's near him. Bridges wide open for three, cash out. No, okay, that might be bad. That might've been bad. We could've hold it, held it, but it's okay. They would've fouled. Nico again, wide open for three. Can he drain this one? Nope, he can't. Nico's choking. They would have had this game. What would it? Yeah, he, they would have had the lead if Nico would have hit his two last threes and Miles Turner hits his two free throws. This game is iced. And game one by the Charlotte Hornets is iced. We've won. Colin Sexton had 29. K. Levin Drummond both double doubles. And Kevin Porter with 13 on our end. Curry with 19 points, even though he fouled out. Did have a pretty good game. Miles Bridges, 17 points, four rebounds, a steal. And an assist, but DeJounte Murray, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, a block. One's a true, you know, I after my last game, I had my, you know, I I don't know, I don't know if I really thought he was going to be all that good. But 4 steals, 3 assists, 15 points, played great. Most Turner, 11, 6, and 3. It will be top in 10, 7, 6, and 2. And then you got my boy Surge with 8 and 11, who was absolutely clutch in the end there so game one is down we beat the cleveland cavaliers and on to game two 
next game with Syncast. We're not going to play the second game in the series, but it, ooh, it's it's looking pretty close. Oh, we pull ahead. We're up 15. The Cavs. Oh, we're up 9. Okay, we're going to jump into this game and hopefully save the day. Hopefully. In the quarter and no timeouts. So this could be crappy if we miss. Nico Maninian, though, carrying the Cavs. Crazy that he gets out of Golden State. Ends up carrying the Cavs. Curry, though, let's see what you can do here. Step back. Pull that three. Ooh, that's a beautiful release. Misses. And Surge cannot hold on to the board. We gotta play good defense. Isaac Okoro is now healthy, by the way. He was injured. Kevin Porter with a midi. Misses. Big Surge with the big board is Murray. All the way. No one but Nico is a huge dunk by DeJounte Murray. This man has been on fire during this game. 27 points for DeJounte Murray. And we are finally all tied up. Game is close. Curry with 17. Curry low-key not being the superstar we thought he would be, but... It's Curry. People have their off games. Serge Ibaka with a beautiful steal right there. And nobody but Murray once again going to the line hopefully here. Not an end one situation. But some easy baskets hopefully as he hits the first. And now he hits the second. Up to 29 points. DeJounte Murray might have saved us. Might have just saved us. Great game by Nico. Great defense by Curry playing Maninian at the half court. Meaning though... Getting right around. We're going to have to switch on to K-Love. Couldn't get there in time. And the game is all tied up. 28 seconds left to go. Um, did not want to pass that to Curry. Not what I wanted to do. But Curry going to do his magic here. Going all around the world with Porter Jr. But blocked by Drummond. And the Cavs call a timeout. Time for a big stop here. Nico Maninian blowing right by Curry there. It is one-on-one. -on -one. Nico Curry, the mentor and the idol. You know, when these both both these men did used to play for Golden State. Nico blowing right by. Down to Drummond. Locked up by Miles Turner. Miles Turner cannot get the board. It's up to Curry. Half court. Curry with a step back. He messed up with a step back and didn't shoot the ball. The Cavs win. Game two of the playoffs in a game that we really shouldn't have just lost there. Heartbreaker of a game. Murray scored 29. Curry with 17. Bridges with 17. Trier 12 once again. Playing some pretty good basketball, I would say. I'm going to go ahead and switch up the lineups and see how we do in game three. Everyone's minutes and made it so these are the only three coming off the bench. No Bacon, no Carey Jr. None of these guys. Lamelo should be back soon, I believe. How far away are you, Mr. Mello? One to two weeks still. And uh, JJ Redick is a day to day. So he could be coming back anytime now. Really wouldn't be such a huge help. But it would be nice to have him as we go into game three with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I am going to simcast this one as well. And hopefully we just blow them away so I don't have to jump in. It's close. It's close, and we get the dub. Curry with 38 and 12. That's what I'm talking about, Curry. 24 for Turner, 20 for Murray, 15 for PJ. Everyone else had pretty eh numbers. That is what I like to see. Virginia Storm, though, up 2-1 against the Miami Heat. Kind of crazy, and now we're going to simcast one more. He is back. I'm going to leave rotation as is. That's a little whatever. I don't really care about him being back, but let's see what the Hornets do here. We look to be getting blown out, but I'm going to hop in and try to save this game with three minutes left. For Hero, Curry just dribbling all around Michael Porter Jr. All the, or not Michael Porter Jr., wrong Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr. as he gets the line found by Larry Nance. We are in home jerseys because we are at our home court. Curry nails both 23 for Curry tonight, and the Cavs are taking a timeout. Really, guys? Really? All right, Nico, still bringing up the ball. Crazy to think that this man is one of the biggest factors in a team that was the second seed in the Eastern Conference, and why are we calling a timeout after every single bucket, guys? Come on now. All right, so we are back. 23 points with Curry. We're going to try to just do some dribble god moves as Curry gets way, 
wide open. 25 for Curry. Beautiful. Murray has 13, 7, and 8. Everyone has pretty good numbers. Curry, though, obviously leading the... I swear to God, if they call me one more timeout, I can't handle this. Let's not try to call a timeout right after you guys do literally anything this time. Would appreciate it. Curry, great defense on Nico. Oh, my Lord. Great board by Turner. And we got Murray on the run right here. Murray trying to size up. Can't really get that like he wants to. Nico, Curry, Curry on Nico. Getting it. <laughs> Saucy with it. Is Curry with the fader? Doesn't quite go. We got PJ Washington with the beautiful putback and the assist. Down four. That's all it takes. Down four. Some great play by Curry. Some great rebounding and reactions by PJ Washington. And we're right back into it. I swear. Oh, there's so many timeouts. I truly think that our team is a much better team, at least on paper. But somehow this Cavs team got the second seed. So I guess I kind of get to show them some respect. But, like, y'all have Andre Drummond taking mid-range jumpers. Like, you really didn't just drop a plan just for that jumper right there. There's Murray. Great connection with Curry right there as he gets the beautiful layup. Down two with almost two minutes left in the game. If they call another timeout in this possession, breaking the game. I simply am going to get the disc that I don't own. <gasps> beautiful legal screen, Drummond. Beautiful legal... Oh, but now we're calling timeouts! Now, one good thing about this is we are in the bonus, so it looks like we kind of are going to get lucky if we get in the foul line. Oh, we top and wide open for three. Cannot cash out. As which would have given us, us the lead. Drummond with the board. Great take by Sexton, who kind of dunks all over us. That's a little demoralizing, given we were so, so close to, you know, being back into this. Is Curry going around absolutely everybody. Beautiful jumper, and it goes in. I don't know how that falls. Do not know how it falls. Uh, the game just called him the baby-faced assassin. He is kind of a gnarly beard, though. So, I don't know if you could call him the baby-faced assassin. Sexton, though, has been the player of the game so far. Going right around everybody. Misses the layup. Okay, we good. Nope, that's not who I wanted to pass it to. Curry, though, in the corner. Nobody but Nico. All the way to Nico. Fouled. Not really. Drummond with the board and the great defense. Sexton, though. Just Turner on him. Can Miles Turner play some lockup defense on the shifty Colin Sexton? He can. Great defense right there. Obi Toppin looking at Murray. Murray taking another great beat layup, and it's all tied up. 34 seconds. This is clutch time. This is where basketball is meant to be. This is how basketball is meant to feel like. This is where it gets important. Colin Sexton blows by everyone, falls to the floor, and gets the basket to go. We take a timeout. 22 seconds left on the clock. Down by two. Hopefully, we can just tie it up. I'm not worried about Curry hitting a three or anyone hitting a three. So, if we can tie it up, I will be happy. Um, but the lead would be also nice. So, let's see what we can do here. Curry, just get the bucket. Do not want to get trapped right there. Is Curry wide open? Nope. Definitely not wide open. I choked. I choked. 2-2 two -two series here with the Cavs. The game doesn't let you foul by hitting the big button on the PlayStation anymore. And if we had a... Oh my god. I hate this game, boys! I hate it. Here we are. Game 5 with the Charlotte Hornets. Can we pull it out and go up 3-2? And we do. Barely winning by seven. Curry, Murray, and Toppin all drop 20 plus. We are up 3 2 in the series. Virginia is down 2 3. Boston Celtics swept Atlanta. Memphis upset the Trailblazers. Dallas looks to upset Phoenix. And that's pretty. Oh, and Brooklyn looks to upset Chicago. So here we go. Final game. Hopefully, game six and the round one. Let's jump into it. Also, as if it's not um, perfect timing, Dante DiVincenzo is returning from injury. So we're going to take away Chire's minutes, and we are going to start, or not start, but we're going to bring in DiVincenzo for a little bit more minutes here. Bridges is on fire, so we're actually going to give him those minutes. But nice to have DiVincenzo back in the lineup and give us a little more scoring power. So that we're not running Curry absolutely into the ground. Advantage. I don't know why it says C plus there, but hopefully 
This is the last game we play in the first round of the playoffs. If we could move on against the second seed, that would be huge. Um, we would be playing most likely Brooklyn. Looks like they're up 3-2 right now. Um, but it would still be nice to move on. Great block to start the game by Surge and Curry. Kind of kind of the mismatch with K-Love. K-Love isn't the best uh, when it comes to guarding guards, but it doesn't matter because... You know, Abaka doesn't know how to hold on the ball. He just kind of gave it to Drummond for free. Merry Christmas, Andre Drummond. You know what it'd be. Colin Sexton has Abaka on him. Curry on a Coro. Top into Love. All right. Good jumper by Sexton. Off, but save the day, Andre Drummond. Only averaging 17 this season, which, like, I mean, for Andre Drummond, that's not, like, a bad thing, but it's kind of crazy to see. Sabanka, with a nice little floater, gets the basket to go, and we're finally on the board in this game. Dante DiVincenzo has finally made his, uh, not, I want to say debut. Actually, yeah, no, this is his first game playoffs, so it is his debut. Has made his debut in the NBA playoffs here. He has already scored a bucket, but... Let's see what else he can do. Is Turner wide open mid range from the field goal, free throw line, whatever you want to call it. And we have the lead. Great play, great find by DiVincenzo. And, you know, he's off to a decent start for his first game back in a really long time. He has been injured for a good, good amount of time. Great steal right there by DeJounte Murray. He doesn't get it completely. DiVincenzo on Osman, PJ Washington switching, Larry Nance with the easy layup, I mean, come on now, guys. Second quarter time, up by two, sitting at a pretty good spot, I mean, I wouldn't say amazing spot, because said he's about to hit a wide open three, no he isn't, because he's garbage, what am I talking about, DiVincenzo though, all the way to the basket, maybe a little bit of a cherry pick, maybe just an amazing outlet pass, you tell me, as we get the layup to go. Dante has four points in his return and a steal now as Bridge is running away, but he gives it right back to Dante for the wide open three. He misses and can't even get his own rebound. That was right in his face, but it's okay. We're not having an awful second quarter, but we're not having an amazing one either. But Curry swinging that ball around, giving it to Bridge's wide open three. We can't hit a wide open three for our lives. I mean, Devon Shenzo or whatever has missed like four. Four wide open threes, so it's pretty sad. Drummond, though, going blocked by P.J. Washington. Beautiful play. Bridges all the way here. And one on Kevin Love. or Not an and one, but a foul call on Kevin Love. Straight to the stripe we go. And now we get into easy points. Easy buckets. Curry is playing pretty damn well. I mean, 12 points. We're up to, he's kind of just taken everything straight to the rack. He's been drawing fouls. He's been scoring really well. He's also been sharing the rock pretty well. Five assists. That's pretty good in the first half, I would say. 14 points, five assists in the first half is exceptionally well, especially with how we're doing. But we're up four, and, uh, you know, we're just slowly crawling, crawling, crawling towards a lead. You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a big lead on coming. You know what I mean? So... We do have a good chance. The thing is, is they can't really spread the floor like we can. That's their biggest issue. They may be two people who can shoot on their entire team. Their defense is very poor. Um, really, all they have is men down low. So that's about it. Curry, though. Nope. Turner. I see you with that mismatch on Sexton. Beautiful. Fit. Ooh. 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 What a fadeaway jumper, man. Here we go, second half playoff basketball. Curry is playing like a whole nother demon right now. Oh my god, if he would have hit that. If he would have hit that. There's a beautiful like release too, so I don't know how he missed it. It was really far out. Okoro though, with the tough layup over both Curry and Turner. I want to use the best. Like I want to use Curry's takeover as much as I can before it runs out. Beautiful layup. It's that sky hook lifting. I don't even know what you call that, bro. That is just... Such a weird layup. Curry, though, with the steal. Can we get another one? Yes, sir. Another scoop layup. The finger roll finish. Curry has 18. And the third quarter has barely started. If that isn't superstar level step up play, then I don't know what is. Curry might genuinely lead us to a finals run. Actually, maybe not a finals run because we're struggling with the goddamn Cleveland Cavaliers. And he just lost the ball to Isaac Okoro. So, I don't know about that one. But 
you know, he's doing pretty good right there. Sexton to Nico. Nico with the little pop and stomp. He misses. Board by Drummond. And right back out to Okoro, who also misses. But Drummond gets a board. Nico shoots. Nico also misses. Drummond gets a board. Drummond just takes matters into his own hands. And <laughs> drops the bucket in. Only up two. It's a little struggling. A little worrying, you know. But it's okay. Oh, Murray wide open for three. Cash out. Oh, Murray has been piss poor shooting from three lately. I do not know what's gone into him. But ever since we got Curry, he does not know how to shoot. But it's okay. Turner with a beautiful block and runs us out of bounds. The Cavs really don't want to go down. This game has been incredibly close. But Curry is just fiending, bro. Like, 27? 27? I mean, the team as itself has 40... Curry has 27 to himself. Nico taking awful shots. Curry off the races. Psych, he's going to stop, pop, and drop a three into the basket. Jog into victory. Steph Curry is feeling it tonight. He knows this is a big game. He knows he's going to lead his hometown team to the next round of playoffs. And he does so with that beautiful three. We have pulled away like you wouldn't believe and with two minutes left in the game, it looks like we're taking the dub up 15. Drummond is doing nothing. A legal screen by my boy Nico. But usually that means a timeout. I swear to God, if they call a timeout, I'm going to cry. Curry with 37 and 9. Hold up. Let's make that 40 real quick. Okay, nope. Not, not right now. Yes, we're not getting 40 right now. He might get 40. We haven't scored in seven minutes. I don't know if that's true. Might be because I simcasted because I'm not going to play the full thing. But 40 points almost for Stephen Curry. I'm not going to let Drummond post up Curry. Okoro, you were wide open. Just take the jumper. You missed. Because Okoro is bad. Obi Toppin, though, almost 10 rebounds. Turner does have 10 rebounds. Where is Curry at? Oh, he's Drummond on him. Oh, come on, team. Gotta get that ball to Curry better. You can't be giving the ball to Drummond. Curry with a sloppy foul, and he has his fifth foul. We're still up by a crazy amount, and I'll see you guys at the end of the game because we just put in our fifth string practically. Isaiah Thomas is in the game, for God's sakes. And with that game, the Charlotte Hornets have successfully pulled off the seventh seed upset. Curry with 37, DiVincenzo with 13, 12 and 7 and 4 for Murray, 12 and 11. For Miles Turner, P.J. Washington had a great game, 11 and 7 and 3. Obi Toppin, 6 and 9, haha, <laughs> 6 9. Miles Turner, 6 2 3. Or, yeah, Miles Bridges, sorry, not Miles Turner. Miles Turner played earlier. Oh, and Dwight Bacon got one bucket, so it's cool. Thank you guys for moment. I don't even know what English is, man. I was gonna try to do the outro, and then I just fumbled on my words, man. I'm looking like Ezekiel Elliott with the way I be fumbling. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, so. Chicago and Brooklyn. Oh, lordy. A mellow ball is back. We're going to have CPU adjust that. So we are going to be facing the Brooklyn Knicks. Got a huge upset. Katie and Kyrie. But they also have Spencer Dinwiddie, Blake Griffin, Jared Allen, Karis Levert. They still have all those guys because, obviously, they never got traded for Harden. And they also have Bismack Biombo. We remember Bismack, don't we? We love Bismack. Anyways, guys, next episode will be round two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, drop a comment, blow and all. As always, been your boy, Little Codeine. Peace out. I'm the bees knees, bees hoes. Yeah, they just love me. Flow so cold, but I know straight runny. Got a lot of bros, so don't act funny. Shooting off shots, gun hopping like a bunny. Run up on me, you a motherfucking dummy. You know I do these